We're just reading the beautiful story of Exodus. A nation that was slaves for many years and came out free through Moses. So we talk so many times about Moses, but I'd like to talk briefly about the lady that saved Moses' life. And this is the story of Batya. She's going to the Nile River and she sees this young Jewish boy, this baby, inside the Nile River. Batya rescued, saving his life and raising Moses as her own son in the palace. But Batya's name not mentioned at the beginning. If you read the text, over and over again, we refer to her as the daughter of Pharaoh. Why the Torah doesn't give her a full name? Why we refer to her as the daughter of Pharaoh, this bad guy? I think the Torah is teaching us here a very valuable lesson. Even if your parents or any other external factor is corrupted, immoral. We have external factors that are challenging us, making things more difficult for us. But it absolutely doesn't mean that I will not be able to transcend myself and overcome those challenges and be what I should be. You still have the free choice and you have the character you have the ability to be like the daughter of God, like Batya. Despite the fact that she grew up in such an environment, she was able to be something else. So, each one of you, you have your free will to be ambassador of life with one small act of good deed can save history can turn over the story from a bad story to a very positive story. We have a free choice. This is the story of the daughter of Pharaoh.